morning everybody. I'm Dr. Usha Jain. I'm very happy to be here. Happy July 4th. Today is a special day. The proposal I made for equal treatment for all is moving forward in Washington in the Rules Committee. Making the equal justice for all. That's a good achievement that can happen only in America. I'm working on the Rules Committee in Washington to bring equal justice for all the citizens, whether they are represented by themselves or they are represented by the attorneys. If you are represented by an attorney and you're paying the attorney, you get to go through the electronic filing in the computer. That means one click of the computer, your document goes to the court system, then you get a docket number right away. Versus the self-representing citizens, what they have to go through is, you won't believe it, because they have to go to the post office or the courthouse and deliver the document by 4 o'clock. If you don't deliver it by 4 o'clock, you default it. That means you lose the case. If the self-representing citizens, they can get the electronic filing, then they don't have to go to the post office, they don't have to go to the courthouse. Wouldn't that be equal justice? The people who have seen my video, I talked about during COVID. They were given computers at the house, offices were closed, courthouse was closed, because they wanted to save lives. But what about the poor self-representing citizens? The one who is representing themselves, they still have to go to the post office. You think post office is without any exposure? No, you have to go inside the post office. You have to send the general public to get the calculation of the postage from the postman. And because of that, you're exposed. And especially more important, if somebody 70 years old, has a diabetes, they have hypertension, they're high risk. So CDC classifies post office as a high risk. And if you're high risk yourself, you're exposing yourself. There is a life and death consequences. How is that fair? As a doctor, I want nobody to be exposed and why a judge in the justice system would not let you have the electronic filing, I still do not get it. I'm going to Washington and they considering my proposal to get the electronic filing for everybody, whether somebody is represented by the paid counsel or somebody is representing themselves. The justice system is about equal access and equal justice to all. I want to tell you COVID is not done. People are still dying. Claudia, you have something to say? Yes, what about people who have a disability? What if they're not able to get to the post office on time, risking getting a disease, COVID? I don't understand why electronic filing wouldn't be given to everyone, or at least made optional. Equal rights, isn't that what the USA is about? Yes, you brought that point so well. I'm fighting for the equal access to get the equal justice. Fair and equal justice for all. And my work will help millions of people who are unable to go to the post office because they have a knee problem or they have a wheelchair. Why we're pushing the disabled people to go to the post office or go to the courthouse? Does it make sense? This is exactly what I'm doing. Dr. Jane, how about uh, people who cannot afford? Judges in our system are supposed to help. When you are disabled, you are given rights. Think about the guest prices. It costs you $10 to make a trip. And people are barely making it. Why do they have to go to the post office? And why do they have to go to the courthouse? Mm -hmm. In post office, you don't even know whether you're going to get the documents in time or not. They don't consider the last mail, late deliveries, none of that. In the computer, you do a click and it goes for sure. You get a docket number, you're done. Mm -hmm. 
We already talked about the COVID, life and death. We talked about disability. We talked about crime, money. They have to lose everything. Well, Dr. Jane, I'm really concerned about how they're actually differentiating and choosing who gets these services and who doesn't. Uh, because it's, it's a very hard concept to understand and it doesn't sound very fair to me at all. Oh, I totally agree with you. Because this is so unfair. Why it is happening in America? America is the best country. We are known for the best judicial system. You all know that we live here in this country because of the safety, because of justice system, and because of the fairness, equality, and our rights. Hopefully, I can make this happen, so then we can all celebrate next July 4th even bigger by having big parade for equal rights and fair justice. Thank you.